All right, fast forward another day or two, back out here, have all of the lines fully tightened up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some soapy water in a spray bottle. I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna check all of the connections that I've done with the barb fitting and on the bee fitting. Make sure that there's no leaks anywhere. And we're ready to go. Boom, booyah, backsplash, fully finished. So now we got that full frame going on right there. Nice. Oxygen lines, propane lines in the house. Let's go. All right, about to mount those to the wall. Get a nice little setup going. Then create that false wall. And we are rocking and rolling, everybody. Let's go. Sheesh, now we're cooking. I'm gonna paint this white so it doesn't stand out as much. Or I can just leave it natural. I mean, the table I left unfinished, so, but I'm gonna brace it to the wall right here. And then we got our little, little corridor back there for wires. Make sure uh, no glass gets to it. Blocked off behind the kiln. Over off the edge, little bumpers to hold it, hold in the glass if it starts to roll away. Gotten pretty careful what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, so I know the carpet's gonna get burned, like I said. Just trying to have a little bit preventative and contain the glass in such a small space. But I mean, there's people that blow glass in like tiny vans and camper vans and just different setups. I've seen people's studios so clean that they go barefoot. So why can't I have a carpet? We'll see how long it lasts. So let's finish up this, uh, this routing job. Boom, false wall complete. So I think I'll just leave it bare for now. In the future, if I wanna change it, uh, I'll just go back in there and paint it. But yeah, we are fully secure. That way, keep all the uh, heat away from that electrical outlet. Also be able to come back here, come back here and run the wires or run the uh, hoses through right there. Keep them protected from getting uh, anything dropped on them. So let's go. One more step. Also got my artwork framed over here. Um, they're all kind of matching frames, so that's pretty cool. Gonna have some artist trades so I can fill up the walls nicely. But uh, yeah, we got Rory Skagen, Austin artist. Really like him. I even have a mouse pad. And we got Sayer One, local to San Antonio. Diantwood, a uh, huge fan of them. Got Yolandi there. Holoplex, got a picture of Godzilla. Huge fan. Oh, and then we got Dank Piff uh, right there. Oh, we got some stickers as well from uh, Sayer One. But uh, yeah, all this artwork's gonna go up on the wall. So let's go. Alrighty, so I've just done the spray test. Everything outside was good. I've gotten the two uh, manifolds, kind of the Y valves mounted. That's where they're gonna stay. Spray check those, everything was perfect. So that's why I got them properly mounted. Over here though, we've got a little bit of leakage on the back side of the uh, of the fitting. So like these hoses are bad and I had mentioned I probably need to replace them. I was just kind of doing a, a good test fit, see if I need to replace anything. And uh, yeah, so these are leaking not from the actual fitting, but from the backside where it's just kind of, I'm not exactly sure how to fix it. Maybe, you know, I'll look on the internet, but I need to replace those. So I'm just not going to run the mini torch and we're going to turn on the regular torch. So that one's good to go. The fittings, everything was good, checked. And so the advantage of the Y valves, as I had mentioned before, is being able to just turn one, whichever way we're working with, turn one and... Uh, just turn it off. And so now I'm able to run one side and still use the uh, regular torch. So let's go, let's get it lit. Alrighty guys, and just like that, quite a few months of hard work to get back to this point, to have everything ready to go. We've got the lines opened up, we've got them ran, we've got everything checked. Let's go.
Alrighty. And now I gotta I gotta break out my tools. I'm gonna make myself a new pocket vibe, some type of marble. And yeah, just like that guys, we are back. Months and months. Lots of inspiration, lots of things that I'm gonna remember from this time period, from the ups and the downs. And it's just crazy to uh, to have this lit again. Let's go. So, alrighty. Uh, I'm gonna do a few things. I don't know, probably in the vlog here. Yeah, that's probably gonna be the natural spot to kind of end it. And, uh, oh yeah, look at that backsplash. Super, super cool. So, believe in yourself, never stop evolving, keep it going, at first you don't succeed, try, try again, let's go. Appreciate you guys for watching me get back to this point, got a lot of stuff coming, get ready for it. She never stop evolving. <laughs>